So at the Bone Imaging Laboratory, we produce a lot of software. The software is used for doing novel analysis, population health research, as well as improving our workflow or our efficiencies when we're doing tasks. Here, I would just like to introduce you to the Bone Imaging Laboratory GitHub page. So if you go to github.com slash bone lab, it'll bring you to this page. You can see our logo, a link to the University of Calgary and our contact information. You'll also see a list of all of the people currently involved in the repository, as well as a list of our software. And some of these, such as QCT RAG and Normative Web App, you won't be able to see unless you are a member of the repository. So to get access, number one, please email Bryce Besler or Stephen K. Boyd to get access and you will be added to these list of people. The purpose of this repository is first and foremost to organize software. So we have many graduate students coming in and out. How do we take their projects, the software they write, and centralize it, make it usable for others, and um, build further projects off of it? With that, we're going to be talking about a very specific repository that we called the Bone Lab Repository. We have a bit of mashing of names here, but that's okay. So to start off, you can click the Bone Lab repository, and you can do this whether or not you're currently um, a member of the Bone Lab GitHub team. And you'll see a list of files, as well as a README page. Up next, we're gonna go through what this repository means.